All right, so I want to talk about the uh, the uh, so so-called U.S. government and the U.S. media, the U.S. corporate media, or the U.S. corporate propaganda. Uh, so I've been saying all along uh, for quite some time now how the U.S. corporate media and the U.S. Uh, government and uh, and to and to discount. Uh, the state governments uh, as not p being part of the U.S. government uh, and having influence, uh, massive, unequal influence with, uh, with the federal government and you know, trying to make it look like the you know, state and federal governments aren't, aren't one and the same. Uh... Uh, even going down to uh, to some extent, uh, actually more more than somewhat uh, of an extent, into the local governments uh, is to have a lack of understanding of how the impacts from local to state and federal, which is all interconnected, uh, doesn't affect us. Because we live in Massachusetts, or we live in Pennsylvania, or we live in California, or we live in uh, Oregon, or we live in uh, Ohio, or Idaho, or Kentucky, or Kansas, or Texas, uh, or uh, North Dakota, or South Dakota. It's all interconnected. And you must understand the fundamental connectivity. And... To understand that is quite simple, is that you have people who have common, uh, common interest, common direction that they want to take. And these are the people that are getting into power. These are the people who are rigging the system. These are the people who are driving the media. And these are the people who are placing and pointing the people who are bringing the so-called news. These are the abject criminals. These are the direct threats to democracy. These and the corporations who fund them, who drive them, who do the propaganda, who do the lobbying, these are the criminals. These are the ones who threaten our lives in the country. These are the ones sowing chaos and destruction around the globe. These are the ones tied in ultimately through power and money across the Western world who drive what is taking place and causing climate change. These are the ones poisoning us. These are the ones who care so little for our existence in the here and now and shortly in the future. Because it has been all misdirection, all misinformation, all complete total lack of information. It is the crushing of whistleblowers, of journalistic integrity. It is the abject propaganda. <clears throat> it is making the Western world and the United States to be the pillars of morality, of ethics, this false dichotomy, while everywhere else that the Western world and the U.S. targets as the enemy, they are the fascists, they are the dictators, they are the enemies, they are the ones causing everything. And within the domestic front, it is the minorities, it's the blacks, it's the Muslims, there was a time when it was the Chinese 
and other Asians like myself. And there's always been a time where it's the natives. It is import. It is exporting these ideals, these these detrimental ideals, these fatal ideals. This whole concept of misinformation, of ignorance that is bringing the rise of people like Jair Bolsonaro and others in South and Central America in the killings of journalists in Mexico. It is the, it is the fracking it is the uh, it is the fracking and uh, and it is the uh, pulling oil all around the world oil that has become so dominant that it's constantly in the, in the uh, in the press in the so-called press when the only intelligent thing the only moral thing to do would be to stop using oil period to stop drilling to stop fracking but even they know, understand that oil and others other uh, other uh, things like that is not feasible so what they'll do is they'll extract it so that they can turn it turn to plastic which is still oil which is still carbon uh, uh, which is still carbon um, infrastructure which still does uh, which still ki is killing us so you have all this going on you have whistleblowers like recently with uh, Daniel Hale an ex Air Force uh, personnel who uh, who did like Chelsea Manning who did like uh, 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 Snowden who uh, uh, did like uh, uh, Bill Benny and and uh, and so many others who are being persecuted for looking out for the interests of the greater good in the greater community So, you have that, and then you have the supposed enemies, such as Press TV, who is doing all, uh, who is putting out information that was crucial to the American public. Information that when that uh, uh, that uh, goes counter to what the Western world in the U.S. wants. The stuff that uh, imperils them because it informs the West and the U.S. of what their governments are doing. Press TV, I've waited on talking about Press TV to see if, if my conclusions of how not inept not corrupt but completely and utterly criminal and when your self interest when you have when you have billions of dollars and your self interest override the uh, the greater good when they uh, when they go to subverting and oppressing then you are an abject criminal. You are the worst sort of criminal. This is what I talk about when I say that they represent an eminent threat. And it's not really, you know, that's, that's really a, a false narrative because eminent means that it may be something down the road when it's actually happening right now. It's how we lose 
uh, in the in the system where we lose our money when we are struggling to pay our bills when we cannot get a uh, proper a proper diet when we cannot have a a medical system that works to keep us healthy when we lack uh, we lack the ability to educate ourselves because of the cost <clears throat> when we must con constantly constantly be wary about everything and then it depresses us and made us, makes us fatalistic and makes us angry which gives rise to right wing nationalism which gives a doorway to white nationalism and Nazism. It is the it is the physical harm, the emotional harm, it is the uh, economic harm which harms us here and now in the present, which kills tens of thousands to millions which increases suicides which increases mass shootings which increases uh, increases radical not not radical but evil ideals like uh, like uh, you know if you uh, like crushing women's rights so that even if you have a miscarriage you can be sent to jail for 30 years a miscarriage something that Ben Shapiro seems to have, uh, seems to have uh, missed when he says it's scientifically it's a scientific fact well it's a scientific fact that miscarriages happen you have no control it is this sort of thing, where you have a Ben Shapiro and others talking complete and utter nonsense. And it's not just nonsense, it's criminal to be talking this sort of stuff. To be sowing this sedition that it directly impacts our mothers, our sisters, our aunts, our girlfriends, our, our female friends, To, de to dehumanize these people. It is ridiculous that Ben Shapiro and others can say it's a scientific fact when you have no control over miscarriages. That even doctors cannot always correct these miscarriages. As a matter of fact, most of the time, they can't correct miscarriages. That'd be like you getting struck by lightning and surviving and having a law that says you can't be struck by lightning and if you get struck by lightning you're sent to jail for 50 years. Something you have absolutely no control over. This is a sort of insanity that is allowed, that is continued which brings harm, catastrophic harm, to us collectively. Because a woman, a girl, they are still human beings. They are the light bringers. They are the caretakers. Just for the fact that they are human, they should be given equality. They should be given equal ideas and equal respect by us. All of it is interconnected. All of it has harmful impacts for us. Whether we feel it viscerally, here in the now, and personally or it happens 
to our, to someone else in the country that we don't see personally or happens somewhere else in the world does not mean it is not impacting us. It does impact us. And if you cannot get the moral fortitude to rise up and be outraged and be rabidly angry about the pure evil of that, then we, collectively, are culpable. We, collectively, are part of the machine that is suppressing and oppressing and killing and raping and pillaging and plundering. Because we might as well be doing that. That is why I say the only way to show a moral fortitude in equality is to take active action. And that must impact the psychological and emotional basis which the right wing and the oligarchs and those in power do not have to a greater degree impacted so viscerally here and now in your face that they know what fear is because through fear you get understanding I grew up in fear I grew up in suffering I understand how that has shaped me to understand how to look on others with an equality that has no equivocation it has allowed me to empathize even with these monsters but understand that monsters who cannot learn who will not learn who continue must come to understand and the worst of the worst must be dealt with in a final way so that the message gets out that there are limits and the fact that these monsters have to the point where we have something that will kill us not decades from now but in our lifetime who will which will bring suffering on on an apocalyptic level to billions and bring about our extinction that is a river too far that is an ocean too far this is why that we cannot live in our own insular ways. We cannot be more concerned about our own particular personal lives or our own particular ideals of morality. Because morality that allows for our eminent destruction is a morality that is too far. We need to we need to put pressure. We need to put pressure and make sure that press TV is allowed back on so that you can watch press TV and what press TV puts out. We need to Go. Uh, we need to go and get the Bill Binney's and uh, and his uh, partner 
uh, uh, and his partner in crime out of jail. We need to get uh, Snowden allowed to, uh, to come back into the country without repercussions. We need to get uh, we need to get the uh, the the hero um, who uh, excuse me I can't uh, think of her name uh, I mentioned her already um, oh Chelsea Manning we need to get Chelsea Manning out of jail we need to allow people to inform us in our own self good who have been put in jail, who are being targeted right now. We need these voices. We need these pillars of pillars of ethics and informing us for our own good. We need to push and the only way to do that is to be forceful. This is crunch time. If we had longer, yes, I would say yes. We need to take forceful actions, but not final actions. We need a cleansing. And that cleansing must be the true criminals, those who hold power, those who hold influence, those who hold money, those who can disseminate or not put out information that is for the greater good. We need to take these actions because it is we who will save ourselves we have to stop looking for others to save ourselves. And we must unite and save ourselves. Because this is not a new thing. It has been going on century after century. Thousands upon thousands. Millions upon millions. And at this time, we are on the epoch of destruction.